Old Town Kayaks, you've heard the name Old Town, but do you associate it with where the name comes from? Old Town, Maine. And if you're talking about Maine, probably talking about striped bass. Talking to Ryan Lilly, who's from Maine, does a lot of fishing for striped bass along the Northeast, and I was talking to Ryan, I said, I, I want you to show me the Old Town line, what your favorites are, especially what our guys might want to use for striped bass, weak fish, blue fish. Take sure. me on the tour. Show yeah, me what sure. I need for striper fishing in the kayak. There's two boats in my quiver for striped bass fishing. Um, they're great boats, and I thought we'd start with a pedal-driven kayak first. There we go. So th this is right here is our Old Town Sportsman Big Water PDL 132. It's a 13-foot, two-inch pedal-driven kayak. The it's in the name. It's a big water kayak. It's made for oceans, big lakes, big rivers. And, the, and that's really all to do with the hull shape. The hull shape, it's got a rounded hull, it's got a pointy nose. And what that really equates to is it bobs and weaves and maneuvers through big water, rough conditions with ease. So it's a great boat for offshore striper fishing, near shore striper fishing, river fishing. This thing is a machine. So starting up at the bow, it's got really great, comfortable grab handles in the bow and the stern, makes transporting easy. It's got a cavernous bow hatch here with a battery bag, so if you're running a fish finder like I have here, you can store your lithium or lead acid accessory battery in that battery bag inside the hull here. This nice big bow hatch is great for catch bags, backpacks that you want to keep dry, if you want to access the internal part of the hull for rigging or storing rods, this bow hatch is great. You have a couple mounts up here that allow you to to throw short accessory tracks for GoPros. If you want to run your fish finder up here, you can. Just a, a great spot to throw some aftermarket accessories. The Big Water comes with uh, accessory plates that you can drill into, or it also comes with accessory tracks. So if you want to run like what I've got here, a ram mount with a helix on it, you can. Or if you want to drill it in, you can. With accessory pockets down below, so if you wanted to throw some soft plastics in there, spent baits, you've got all kinds of storage in there. Really the meat and potatoes of this drive of, of this boat, which makes it really special, is the PDL drive. Instant forward and reverse allows you to keep your hands free to fight the fish. I've upgraded it with some aftermarket bike pedals with some aggressive grips. I usually do a lot of my striper fishing with deck boots, so I like that added grip so I can dig in and get going on, on, on the fly. So I've upgraded that, it's like a $40 upgrade, but the pedals that come standard are padded, so real comfortable for barefoot pedaling as well. Comes with a five year warranty on this drive. All you have to do is rinse it off after salt water use. Keep the prop clean, clean from uh, any debris. Back by a five year warranty, so you're on the water for years. Padded floor, so if you're gonna stand up, nice comfortable uh, standing platform. It's stable enough, even though it does bob and weave and allow you to maneuver over that rough water conditions. It is a super stable boat for sight casting if you wanna stand up and fish. Comfortable, breathable, adjustable uh, seat all day comfort. Um, you can adjust it on the shuttle track, to, uh, sh shuttle track for your leg length for the pedal drive. You got internal storage here for you know more hull access if you need it. I like to run my accessory battery underneath my seat so I'm able to do that here. Out back you can see it's got a nice big stern tank well. I've got a 16 by 16 Yak Attack black pack in there. Several rod, hold rod holders as you can see so whether you want to run a cooler, a catch bag, or a combination of uh, crate and uh, cooler. You've got all kinds of space back here. Now, we've got it rigged for the show to show you what's possible for aftermarket you know, uh, add-ons. I've got a shallow water anchor, uh, a manual shallow water anchor mounted on our shallow water anchor uh, uh, port back here. So that was like, I don't know, 100 bucks. I was able to throw that on in an afternoon and I've got a shallow water anchor for shallow water fishing. So that's just showing you what's possible. I've got. Horizontal rod storage uh, added to the accessory tracks on this side here. So if you're fishing up against, you know, trees or, you know, I like to do a lot of river fishing or under bridges. And sometimes, you know, your rods will catch on that bridge or that tree. I like to have a few rods or my rods able to be stored in a horizontal fashion. So that's a nice addition as well. So 13 feet, two inches, incredible capacity, about 300 pounds max capacity on this thing. So plenty of room for person, for gear 
Um, if you want to find out more about this particular model or any of the other models in our Old Town Sportsman line, check us out, oldtownwatercraft.com. We've got a few more minutes. I'd like to show you my other boat. Yeah, because we go, we've go, we gone in, in kayaking from paddling to pedaling, and now we've got full yeah. electronic. I'm about to show you the Mac Daddy. Uh, this is great. I like this for certain applications, but I like to fish my striper fishing in the mouths of a lot of these rivers that have a really strong current. You can get pretty tired pedaling even. Sure. And so I really like this motorized model that we have called the Autopilot. It's got spot lock. So let's walk over. I'll show let's you. Check that yeah. out. Minn Kota on a kayak. This is great. Tell me about this. Yeah. So like I was saying before over our, our pedal drive, this is great for some of the fishing I love to do in New England where there's a real strong ripping current going out of the mouths of the river. What's awesome about this platform is you don't have to pedal. You don't have to paddle. You have an integrated Minn Kota trolling motor that's saltwater ready with spot lock. So I post up on the on the outgoing tide, hit spot lock, and I don't have to worry about maneuvering this boat. It's just like a bay boat or you know your favorite uh, saltwater fishing craft with a Minn Kota on it. It's a virtual anchor, touch of the button, I'm fishing and I don't have to worry about it. So it's fully integrated. We're sister companies with Minn Kota and Humminbird. We work with their engineers to design a seamlessly integrated motorized kayaking experience. So moving back, this particular model is 13 foot, six inches. This is the Autopilot 136. All of this deck space. So, you know, I love to take my fly rod for stripers as well. I've got all kinds of space in the hull here for strip and line for stripers. So nice clean deck. You can walk this deck almost like the bow of a bass boat. Um, so it's a really fun platform to fish from. And you can throw you know, extra coolers and, and gear in front of you and still have plenty of space for standing and fishing. I've rigged this thing how I like to fish it for stripers. I've got a 360 transducer as well as a side imaging, down imaging graph. And I'll show you how I set it up. So I've got two Helix 9 screens. And then out back here, I've mounted and custom customized a transducer mount for the 360 off the stern tank while using a shallow water anchor and I modified it and routed all the cable for the stow and deploy through the hull so I can retract or deploy that 360 transducer while I'm sitting down. So an awesome platform but what I love about it is it's huge, it's stable, I can take all my gear with me and it's got spot lock so I can customize this thing for whether I'm fishing smallmouth on the Penobscot or if I'm down at Saco fishing stripers, so awesome platform. To get started, I mean, obviously you've customized it and you can customize it. The opportunities or the uh, um, enhancements are endless, right? Starting point for a guy getting into the autopilot, you know, where, where are we starting price-wise? Yeah, so there's two sizes in the autopilot. One is about 4,200 bucks, the other one's 4,500 bucks, and that's just the kayak. You have to, with the motor, you have to source a battery. Gotcha. But from there, it, the, the sky's the limit. Right. You can see that I've added, you know, several thousand dollars more in gear on this thing. But right off the show floor at your local retailer, you just source a battery. You're ready to fish. All right. Next time we talk to Ryan next year, I think he's going to have a fly bridge and a salon on here too. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks for the tour. Yeah. Man. Thank I appreciate you. It. Appreciate it.